Hello, I'm so sorry I'm a few minutes, couple of minutes late. Sorry, sorry, sorry for some bizarre reason, even though I've had fantastic internet all morning, it decided to say, no, your internet connection is not acceptable for a Facebook Live. So hello, Nikki from Grace's House. I'm here today. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima. And um, thankfully, uh, a transfer turned up in the post, which meant that my backup plan is doable. So um, I'm just gonna type one tiny little comment because in previous times, this has helped me see your comments. So if you think I'm ignoring anything, I'm not, I can't see anything coming in. So I hope that I can. I'm seeing people popping up as you come on, drop a little hello, tell me where you're watching from and what you're up to. This morning, I'm going to be working with, I did pop it in the comments, we're gonna look at elegance and flowers. This is one of my favorites. Um, I've used it a couple of times already and it just looks so lovely on a range of different backgrounds. This is what I'm working on at the moment. So it's a really, really nice, there's no shelves in it at the moment and we've not done much on the inside. So it's a really nice, can you see I've put a bit on the inside here, that was a leftover. Hi Jackie, I've got, I'm recognising some faces as they're coming on. Um, so this is Fusion. I've rolled, this is, Jackie, I can see comments as well. Thank you. Um, that's awesome. I have, this is Fusion. I am using uh, Midnight Blue, which again, if for the UK market, this is, this is really one of the popular colors, hugely popular. And for, for the main surfaces, I've actually rolled it using the redesign with Prima, um, the little foam rollers that come in the kit. I've not got a kit to hand because I've used them all morning, Patricia. So the big flat surfaces have been rolled. So it's a really, really nice smooth finish. Um, there was a tiny little bit of veneer cracking here. So I've added a couple of molds. Um, I'm going to show you the two that I've used. So the top, the bigger piece is from Sicilian Plates and it's this piece here. And I've got a feeling it's ever so slightly wonky but we won't mention that. And then the other one I've used for this small piece, again, just because just where the join of the veneer was, there was just a little bit of damage and I didn't want to fill it and I thought it could take something a little bit more decorative. So Regal Filaments and the one I've used is this piece here but I've only used like the first four, the small pieces, so that it, it didn't kind of take over from the top piece. So I'm quite liking those. And of course, I'm gonna add some, um, some element. No, yes, no, eternal, eternal. Um, so all the hardware was taken off. I've got the hardware to go back on once we've done the transfer. This has all been sprayed with that, um, the lovely Rust-Oleum all rubbed bronze and then it, uh, um, eternal decor wax. Oh, my brain today. Okay, let's get cracking. I have cut some pieces. I've not cut everything ready. So you, I can show you how, because I'm going to be fitting it into these panels here. So I've, I've done kind of the basic cut, just so it's easier to deal with. This is one of the big transfers, guys. This is one of the six sheet transfers. It's a biggie, but you get a lot out of it. This, I will still have, um, I will still have two pieces out of the six left over. So if you had a little bedside, easily, you could easily get two to three projects out of this transfer, easily. Okay. So my first section, I'm just going to make sure where my transfer stick is. Good, it's right next to me. Hello, Helen. Hello, Sharon as well. So as I said, I've pre-cut them to make them a little bit easier to, to manage. Um, I had to get one of the cranes in on one of the top doors. And I absolutely love these big florals in this as well. Oh, just such subtle colours. So I'm going to pop the bottom one on first. Um, because there will be a little bit of gapping at the top. When I say gapping, it's still, it's going to fit. It just, it's not going to be butted up against all of the edges, but I don't necessarily want that. So we're going to do the bottom piece first. Morning, Laurie. 
make sure I've got the right piece. That, 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 yes. So I'm going to be positioning this here into this panel. I'm just going to use my scissors to score this curved edge. You could use um, you, mm, the wooden transfer tool is probably not quite sh hard sharp enough. The one that I found actually worked really well was my plastic transfer tool, which is in the workshop. I'm just going to carefully cut that curve. I'm going to go a little bit inside the line in case it wasn't quite accurate enough. So that's just that curve there, you see. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. There we go. Okay, and then I have to do the same over this side. So now that I've got that placed nicely, I'm going to do the same here. You have to sort of be careful and feel your way. And then I'm going to do the same on the straight edge. It's actually just, just outside one of the guidelines, which is, oops, there you go, that's where you have to be careful. See, it's where that's so slippery, it's slipping off. We've got Barb, hi there, Barb, and Humble Beginnings is watching as well. So I'm just going to find my guideline. You may notice that we're in the kitchen again this morning. It's not this morning, it's this afternoon for me, and it's this morning for a lot of you. So yeah, you're in my kitchen again today. The snow is making the heater in my workshop work far too hard. Okay, concentration. So, we have our piece cut. And that, I might have to just trim through there again. A bit wide down at the bottom there. I'm very excited to see how this looks on the on the blue. So I've done it on pink and I've done it on something else that I can't remember at the moment. Um, can you see I've done it on the inside just straight onto the wood as well? How cool does that look? So you get a little cheeky pop when you open it as well. Love it. Okay, let's get cracking, less talking, more transferring. Oh Barb, you've got snow coming, have you? It's, it's pretty much, with, it's starting to rain now, so that'll be us done. We don't, we don't have snow stick around for too long. Can, you, can everybody see okay? I think I lined everything up so that you would be able to see what I'm doing. No, I've turned the camera, haven't I? There we go. That's better. <laughs> I'm glad I checked. So give it a nice smooth out with your hand. It will, it will give you the start of the contact between the transfer and the piece that you're working on. I'm just working with the wooden stick today. Um, Mostly because I've left my transfer tool in my workshop. So there's no particular reason. Sorry, if you can hear banging, Gracie's up in her bedroom and it sounds like she's using the bed as a trampoline. So if you can hear banging other than what I'm doing, that's what that noise is. <laughs> We've done school today. We've got it all out of the way this morning. So that's good. She's done all her assignments. Oh, I think it's going to look amazing on the blue. I think there's going to be quite a lot of gold involved on the inside, but I haven't 100% decided what, in what form. There's a half plan in my head. And I am going to keep turning and checking the comments now and then, but if I miss anything, I'll catch it at the end. Or if, um, oh, was Ros there? I can't remember if she was there. If I'd seen Ros pop on, I can't remember. 
she's quite stealth so she could she, she quite possibly is there Helen you liked it on the pink best now you like it on the blue I just think it's one of those transfers that just works on so many colors and now I can't actually get the top top sheet there we go there's a little bit there not normally I wouldn't normally start in the middle but as that's the only bit that I can get my finger onto that will do for me I think yeah I think it looks really nice on sort of like a vintagey white cream color as well I think it looks really nice on on bare wood I think a lot of the transfers look nice on bare wood actually Oh, oh my goodness, so pretty. And imagine just like, the, I'm thinking to, to pick out the, the frame with decor wax as well. Ooh. I think it looks beautiful. And you know what, it just, they apply to fusion so well. Just really, really smooth. <coughs> Sorry, I've gone quiet. I've co I'm concentrating. Sorry, guys. Let me just turn around and see. Oh, did you think I'd torn it? <gasps> no. No tears. I am concentrating, though, because I really don't want to tear it, but there was no tear, thankfully. So full disclaimer to everybody, today, a couple of weeks ago, and probably last week, I hinted, I'm just getting rid of a couple of bits of rubbish there, I hinted that I had something as a bit of a surprise today, those of you in the know, you'll know, and um, I kind of, we didn't say too much about it because it was all hinging on something arriving in the post, and unfortunately that hasn't. So, those of you that are following um, the redesign with Prima currently, we've got the Colour Your World promotion and collaboration with various different paint brands. And I was desperately, desperately hoping to be able to do a paint couture collaboration. Unfortunately, the forces that be with parcel deliveries have just not been on our side. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, I love it. Yeah. So we had things, we had, like, everything was against us. And, and then this, I had this prepped. I know, Jackie, I know. Well, the, the, so that, the, yeah, I know. So I had this prepped knowing that I'm waiting for this parcel of paint and counting to, and checking the tracking. I mean, I'm not even going to say daily, I'm going to say so frequently in throughout the day. And, but I had this prepped because I kind of figured that I needed a backup. And then until about 11 o'clock, maybe a bit earlier than that today, the backup, because I didn't have one of these, I didn't have this elegant and uh, elegance and flowers transfer. I had used all mine up. So I was waiting for that to come in the post as well. So I was going to have, have to have a second backup. I'm just going to do the same as I did at the bottom and just work around my curve. Just give it a little score so I've got a line to follow. 
I don't need to do the top because none of that meets the top. I'm going to do that bit first. Um, so yeah, thankfully, because I really wanted to do a furniture project for you this week. Um, and thankfully, Helen was my saviour and sent me an elegance and flowers. I know it's a great backup, isn't it? Hi, Nicoletta. Um, yeah, it's a good, I'm, I'm dead chuffed that the backup came good. Dead chuffed. I completely messed up that curve. <laughs> completely. Oh, do you know what? That's okay, actually. I'll get away with that. Just about. Okay. Just about. I can fill, I've got a little gap there. I can fill, I can patch that because I've got plenty of scraps. Morning Erin, thanks for watching. I, I feel like we've nailed it on the uh, comments, which is good. I feel like, I mean, there could still be another set of comments somewhere. I've come off a live before and Ros has told me that she was, I was answering questions she couldn't see. So there could entirely be another set of, who knows. squidge so I can make sure that that will line up. I will. Tiny little bit. Measure twice, cut once. That's a saying, isn't it? I think sometimes you just need to fine tune your cut. Hi Marissa. This is not from, this is not blue from silk actually. They're very similar in colour but this is um, midnight blue from fusion. Um, this time. Okay. That's better. That looks better. Put my tool in my back pocket. Right. I'm going to kneel down so I get my line up right. I'm sorry if I'm in your way and you can't really see what I'm doing at this time. Now I've done, um, hopefully I've done Ros's little trick where you, you know where the join is, <clears throat> where you get a join. There's like, there's like a print line and where the print finishes, it's almost got like an extra layer, an extra layer of ink. So it's, it's a thicker layer. So you, you, you sometimes on the lighter colours, you see that join. <sighs> um, and Ros's fantastic little tip is if you look, you can see that it's like a bleed line. If you just cut that, it's like not even a millimetre, but just shave that off when you're cutting for the, for the overlap and you'll, you'll get rid of that line. So hopefully I've done enough. Okay. I think there's only a few of the transfers in a few of the places that you actually see that piece anyway, that little join line. Um, but you, it is, you can get rid of it. So that's the main thing. I've got my fancy microphone on today, so have you noticed that when I turn away, the sound doesn't change? It was a Christmas present from my husband. I've been testing it out on my lives on my page. So, um, just why we have to turn away from the camera so many times. Um, good morning from Ohio. Tips are helpful. Thank you, uh, Suzanne. <laughs> yeah, well, we, I like tips. Tips is how, you know, we, you can up your game. Tips are good. And it also makes you feel like part of the crowd, doesn't it? The in crowd, if you know a tip.
So what do you think I should do on the inside? I'm, I'm definitely thinking gold. At the moment, it's all wood. The doors are going to stay wood. The base is going to stay wood because the base is in really, really good, good condition. Someone had cut a hole in the back, so I patched that and that's drying. So I'm thinking it's going to be the sides and the back gold. What would you do? What would you guys do? Or what would you like to see me do? You might not see it live, necessarily. You always have to just be really, really careful, especially I find when there's the thin parts. It doesn't matter if it takes you a little bit longer. You don't want to mess it up. Hi, Sylvia. Sylvia, you're from Canada. Looks lovely. Yeah, I think, I think it's mostly been used on um, lighter colours. I did a little, a little ca um, candle holder that was black, and actually that looked really effective too. But I think on bigger pieces it tends to be done on, on a lighter background. I think you're right. Oh, I quite like this. I think all the bamboo leaves are just being a bit finicky. Great word. And you know what? I might pick out some details um, on the birds and things in gold as well. Just to make them pop a little bit more. So what's everyone got on their, um, what's on your project list? Have you got this transfer uh, and what do you plan on putting it on or what colour background are you thinking of putting it on? Might you go dark now? Oops. Perhaps. tiny bit there just didn't want to look for then. There we go. There we go. I have actually missed a little line there so I will probably go and touch up um, just with some some acrylic paints and just blend those in. Pale blue it looked really pretty on yeah. Helen you're going to try the folk transfers and either one because one is best on dark and one's best on um, white or pale backgrounds, isn't it? Okay, I'm loving it. I love, 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 love. You've had it set aside. You haven't got the right piece for it yet, Erin. Ooh, it's one of those ones that you just want to get, get it used, don't you? But you will know as soon as the right piece comes along, you'll know. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same um, over here. Although I might do the bottom piece first on this side. So I've got some more of this lovely flower. <clears throat> and I don't want to lose too much of the crane on this one. So there. A few there. So I'm just going to cut along my, my straight edge there. And then we'll do the scoring. Oh. Doesn't my scissors don't want to work? It's fine. Okay, get that lined up properly. So we've got that lined up on the bottom edge, lined up in that corner. Go back over this side. Let's just turn that. There we go. So you can see what I'm doing there. 
let's try and get this curve a bit better than the last one because the last one was pretty terrible. It was not great. I think I went too wide. Let's cut it a bit shallower. Better. Okay, that's better, better. And then let's go over here. Do that straight edge. Try and do it without sliding off the edge. There we go, that's better. And then you get to our curve again. Karen, you wish they weren't so expensive, but like I said at the beginning, I this is this is a huge transfer. So this has got six sheets. It, let me get this. Let me get a full size one that I haven't cut up yet. This is the size of a full sheet, and there are six of these in this transfer. I will get at least two projects from that transfer, and sometimes I'd get three, depending on the size of the project. So I think actually when you're looking at the value and what you can get out of it, um, I think it balances out. And also people appreciate that, that the, the piece will end up being more. Sam, you want to have a little close up so you can see if there's a halo. There will be a halo because I haven't top coated and I haven't particularly burnished it down, but yes, I will do that. I'll pop this panel on, and then I'll try and do a close-up for you. <clears throat> I think it's less, I'm gonna say less apparent on the navy than it would be on black. Having said that, when I did, have I got my candle? I will get my, um, I'll get my candle holder if I can grab it, and, because I don't think that particularly had halos. Just make sure I'm getting that lined up nicely. There we go. That will do. Stick. So I've cut some, I've pre-cut, we'll see how we get on for time. I've pre-cut some slithers. I'm just going to, I'm just going to drop the camera down so you can see. This is actually, let me get my hand in the way. So can you see the bottom there? So it's got a pull out shelf, which I'm going to just do a, a line of blue so that you can't see it when it comes out. This one's a drawer and then this is a, this is like a cupboard door. So you see? Um, so I've cut slithers to make it look more, whoops, there we go, more like, their individual drawers rather than going over the whole piece and kind of on this particular one I'm staying in I'm staying in the lines basically I'm using the frames that the piece of furniture has provided me it also makes it easy because you're just putting it on a, a set, oh, this is not a flat surface but in as much as I'm not going in, over any ridges or into any grooves. So for all intents and purposes, this is a flat surface. The sales in the UK for cabinets like this have gone mad. And I'm assuming that's because people are drinking more at home. I don't know, my lights just must have gone really bright outside. Oh, let's turn it down. Oh, let's turn it right down. There we go. I think it can't make up the mind because it's this so dark in the background. Um, but yes, so in the UK, I think more people are drinking more at home and want somewhere nice to store their, their liquor.
So did someone say they want, want to see me what I do with the burnishing as well? Let me, I'm just flicking back up again. Look. Burnish close up too. Oh, Jackie, you're such a troublemaker. All right. Only because it's you. burnish what I'll do is I'll do these two panels and then I'll bring you in closer and we can um, we'll do the burnishing and um, what I'm not going to do is top coat right now because I've got other things that I want to do before I top coat um, but I would almost guarantee that the you'll see you you would see more of a difference with the halo with the top coat going on How's that? Is that better? I don't know. I think I might have the afternoon off after this. My lovely neighbours rang my doorbell yesterday and said, oh, we've, got, we've had, had a bit of a clear out. Would you like to have a look at these pieces of furniture? So I didn't take one of them, but the other two was a pair of kind of mid-century... It's, it's obviously a dressing table that's been taken to pieces. And so essentially this would work as the workers' bedsides. They need legs, they've not got legs, but really nice mid-century. So I'm feeling some transfers on those. But how lovely. I didn't even have to go anywhere. I just went onto next door's driveway. Oh, more of those, please. I'm very envious. You guys over in the States, you have this... the. the kind of bulk waste you can just leave stuff on the, the people that I see picking stuff up that's just been left on the curbside oh incredible furniture and we don't have anything like that here I'd love that hi from Hungary thank you for watching I was able to bring you a, a furniture project. I mean, I've put transfers on all sorts. Um, but obviously, the furniture is my thing. Sometimes you've just got to fill in the gap. Sometimes it's just not a right, the right piece of furniture to show you doing something to at the right time. And there nearly wasn't today. Well, they've planned and all that. Sorry about the banging and the clonking. That's a piece in the background. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I'm going to stick in. stringy bit of adhesive has come with it there there we go okay so shall I um oh Jackie yeah all that oh just amazing where do I buy my transfers from um I will if you look in the um uh, the description of the post at the top there's a link that you can 
uh, click on and put in your details and it will show you if you've got anyone local or you can look for an online retailer. Um, so yeah, if you can, do try and shop local. Um, but if not, you know, all of the retailers in whatever area you're in will show up there. Okay, so I'm going to cut that straight edge. We'll get this piece down. Yeah, I think this will time nicely. We'll get the... Um, Oh, look, look at that. Helen's put the link in there for you as well. She's a handy wing girl. As is Ros, of course. Okay, so that's going to line up with his, the top of his head there. I don't need to worry about that because it's coming in under the curve and that one as well. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. So I'm just going to score down the straight line, same as I've been doing all along. Colleen, you've just joined. Have I sealed it before applying the transfer? No, this is straight up. Um, you shouldn't need to with any paint with the redesign with cream transfers. Um, to be honest, you, you're not, you're not really required to top coat first some other brands suggest but we do not um, this is straight up fusion two coats um, a fusion midnight blue hello from the north of ireland lovely lovely i've got a piece of furniture going over that way at the weekend Let's see if I can get the join a bit better on this side. Oh, the bird. The bird's got to look perfect. I think we've got it there. There we go. Oh, the concentrating silence. <laughs> you can't fill the shoes of the mighty Roz. Oh, no. Not possible. You've got pretty good shoes yourself though, Helen. You've got pretty good shoes. Okay, we'll stand back up again now. Ooh. I've not got my knee pads on today and my knees are feeling it. Absolutely adore these big florals. Love them, love them, love them. Thanks, Nicoletta. I just think there's so many beautiful, subtle tones in this. Where you've got the sort of pinky tones here, and then you've got these peachy, almost sort of burnt orange colours, those pretty little ones. They're like little cherry blossoms of some sort. Just lovely, so pretty. does my head in <laughs> when you're wobbling something and it just conks and rattles and oh, annoys me <laughs> so I um Two methods for burnishing. I use, I do just use my fingers quite often, but I also use like little fine microfiber cloths. As long as they're completely dry, 
They're super, super soft, and I find they do quite a good job burnishing. I'll show you, I've got, I've got one to hand. Fantastico, thank you. We were all careful and there was a stop in committing. You liking it, Nicoletta? Good, good. Quite dramatic on the dark. Last little bit, last little bit, and then we'll do a little bit of burnishing and then you can be released. Right, what I'm doing, it's very difficult. There we go. Oh, we nearly lost the little top of his head there. Good, good, good. Okay. Try not to step on everything. I'm going to just turn that down and bring you into, let me just check, that panel. Just because that seems to be the one that's had the least reflections. So you can see, I mean... Do you know what? It's pretty good. Can you see the little bit of the halo here? It's not bad. And you see, just rubbing it in a little bit. Let me go and get my cloth and see if that makes a difference. Further difference. So this is what I mean by just, you know, like a little microfiber cloth. I got them in a pack. Can you see? Did you see the difference that made here? We do it on this so can you you can see the halo quite well on these green can you see how different that is i don't know how well that's coming across but that's how much the burnishing makes a difference so let's let's do around here again i mean on camera they're really not showing up that much See how much huge difference? It's, you know, it really, and it's not, it, okay, it, it's a little bit of extra work, but it does make all the difference. And then again, you know, when you top coat, that will disappear another level. So there, you know, to be honest, they don't bother me anyway. <laughs> Um, good, it's showing well on camera. Good, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. So I, I'm absolutely loving this on the blue. I think it's really dramatic. I think once it's got gold on, it will just take it to another level. Um, it will pop. You know, if I trim these out with Eternal. What I'm going to do, just before you go, actually, we've got, we've got a few more minutes. I'm going to... I'm just going to get some Eternal and highlight these, just because I think that's going to look amazing. So I've got to find it. I had it this morning. So this is the Eternal. 
that we all know and love. Um, Bridget, the blue is Midnight Blue from Fusion. Let me just show you the pot. So you've got that as well. So Midnight Blue. Oh, that light. And it, do you know what? I've barely even got my light on. So that's your blue. This is Eternal. So this is kind of everybody's go-to gold. I'm lucky enough to still have some pots. This is, this is getting low, but I've got another one in my stash. So can you see that? Okay. I'm in the way a little bit. I'm going to get out of that. So I'm just, I'm going to apply it with my finger. That's it. Just a tiny bit on there. And I'm just hitting the high points. And it just brings out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Whoa. Jackie, I know I've got a brag. I've got a tin. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I went over the edge. Once this is cured, this is cured in 24 hours. You can paint over it. It's easier to paint over than it is to try and correct. I've tried getting this stuff off. It's difficult. <laughs> so um, I will just touch that up with a little bit of paint afterwards. I'm going to do the same here. Gish. Look at that. How cool. Just to pop the details. Really subtle, but just... And I'm, this is what I'm going to use to go around the beaded trim here as well. I'm not going to do that now because I want to be a bit more, I want to be a bit more careful doing that. So there we go. That, I think, is a good place to leave you. I'm going to put my lid back on. Um, so once I finish off with you here, I'm probably going to sit on my floor and do the, do the drawers. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. I have. I'm loving it. I just think it's really kind of elegant. Um, oh, okay, I've got a couple of questions. Bridget, what type of top coat will I use? I'm probably going to use a satin clear coat over this um, because the, the finish on Fusion is quite, it's somewhere between a matte and a satin. It has a sheen. I wouldn't say it's completely matte. So I want to kind of continue and emulate that. Well, obviously I'm going to top coat the whole piece so that it matches. But yeah, I will, I will probably go with the satin on this one. So thanks for watching. Um, just either look at the link that Helen popped in or there should be a link in the description at the top. If you haven't already, if you haven't watched me before, pop over and um, drop my page some love. So I'm Nikki at Gracie's house. Gracie's my little girl. Um, and I will hopefully see you all again this time next week. See you soon, guys. Bye.